initially my prayers were totally about me, but very quickly, and this happened very early in my, what I call my flinty faced walk with the Lord. I was with my parents and it's a long story, but the gist of it is the Lord, we were at St. Joseph's Peninsula up in the panhandle of Florida. And the Lord called me to go to the, to the water. We were behind the sand dunes and, I, and to write. So I took a journal with me and I went up to write. And when I got there, the Lord said, I want you to look to the clouds. And there were beautiful cirrus clouds. And he said, those are my angels that are guarding and keeping you. There is something so encouraging knowing that he, those angels are watching over us. And the second thing he said, look to the waters. And he said, that's my boundless love for you. You can't plumb the depth of my love. Now he's got my attention, he really does. And then the next thing he said is look to the sand. Now I'm sitting on a sand dune that is at least 100 feet tall. For at least six miles, these dunes are on this peninsula. And he said, those are my lost children. Will you bring them to my side? I was undone by the numbers. Think of all that sand. And I said, yes, Lord, I'll do anything. And three times he asked me, do you really mean it? And three times I said, yes. And he said, if you truly mean it, the first thing you're going to do is leave the Catholic Church. I want you to go to Faith Covenant Fellowship and learn my word. And the third thing I want you to do is start a prayer group in your home. And I did all three things. That church he told me about was Word of Faith. I was raised Catholic. I had plenty of the Spirit of God in me. I had no word. And I needed to be trained up in the Word of God. And so I did that. And then I started, shortly after this word, I started a prayer group in my home of four women. We met every Tuesday night for three to four years.